Hello, welcome to V7 video tutorial. To turn on the system, press the power hard key on the top left of the control panel. The system will boot up in less than 30 seconds to live scan mode. To turn off the system, press the power hard key again. A pop-up message with options will appear. Shutdown will completely turn off the system. Sleep mode will put the system in a lower power state and allow the user to access the system without rebooting. For the convenience of the user, the monitor can be swiveled side to side. The height of the console can be adjusted by pressing the lever and moving the handle up and down. To enter patient information, press the patient tab on the touch screen. When the system is not connected to work list, patient information needs to be typed in. When the system is connected to work list, the user can search for the patient with patient ID and other information. The user can double click on the patient information to select the patient to be examined. To input study information, select the proper category for the exam and fill in additional information. In the case of vascular exam, systole or diastole information can be inserted. For abdomen exam, the user can enter height and weight. If the user wants to activate Easy Exam Plus, which is Samsung's automatic protocol program, select one of the protocols provided by the system. The protocols may change depending on the selected application and study information. If the name of the sonographer or operator needs to be displayed on the monitor, the name should be inserted in operator. Once all the necessary information is inserted, click the exam start button on the screen. To select a probe, press the probe tab just below patient. The connected probes and available factory presets for each application will be displayed on the touch panel. To use the other customized presets, select User tab located next to Default and choose the preset to use. The most commonly used six presets can be configured on the right side of the touch panel. It can provide the users with quick workflow with less number of keystrokes. The operator interface is designed for easy use with a high resolution touch screen. On the touch screen, there are two menus, General and Flexible. In General menu, the main functions such as Harmonic can be seen. Swipe the screen of the General menu to go to other pages. Flexible menu is interlinked with the knobs below, and the indices of the parameters can be adjusted by turning the knob. For example, in Flexible menu, the index of the gray map can be adjusted by turning the corresponding knob. You can see that the gray map of the image is changing. On the touchscreen, a digital TGC is available to easily adjust the gain of each depth by dragging your finger. The configuration of touchscreen can be easily programmed for the convenience of the user. Select Touch Edit on the top left to rearrange the items displayed on the general and flexible menus. Simply tap the items you wish to put on the menu page. Among the frequently used buttons, I moved SGR Wave Imaging and Clear Vision to the first page of each general and flexible menu. If you see the control panel, the most frequently used buttons such as Depth Focus and Zoom keys are positioned here. Activate modes by pressing each mode button. If you want to exit the mode, press the button again or press 2D. To adjust the gain of each mode, turn the knob. For example, let's enter the PW mode. After obtaining PW from the appropriate view, turn the mode knob. As described before, PW gain is adjusted by turning the PW knob. Trackball is located in the center of the CP. 
and frequently used buttons such as the change key and contextual buttons are located near the trackball. To maximize user convenience, the function of the contextual button depends on the mode. For example, in B mode, it functions as a frequency control, and in color mode, it activates color box steering. In PW mode, it adjusts the scale. Once the appropriate image is acquired, the image can be frozen and stored. The freeze and save buttons are located in a convenient place for operation. With V7, the user can customize three peripheral keys and two user keys. You can use the caliper or measurement on the CP to measure the length and volume of the structure as well as the speed of blood flow. When you press measure, the measurement item of the currently active application is displayed. If you need more items, you can change the application by pressing Change App on the touch screen. Items for measurement and caliper are displayed on the touch screen as well as on the left side of the monitor. To use body marker, press the knob of the respective application. You may control the location, size, and type of marker. To type in letters, press Annotation. The user can either insert text from the annotation library or type with a physical keyboard. Press Erase to erase the text. You can modify the annotation list or make a new list of annotation in Setup. Now, I will introduce the features used for general imaging. S Surewave imaging is used to evaluate the hardness of tissues and organs, such as the breast and liver. Breast exams are used to diagnose benign or malignant cases, and liver tests are mainly used to diagnose and observe the progress of cirrhosis. To activate S Surewave imaging, select S Surewave imaging on the touch screen. Qualitative evaluation of tissue hardness can be analyzed through real-time color-coded map. This function also comes with quantitative results. Profile provides a more intuitive view of the results. MVFlow is an advanced Doppler technology that allows you to see fine blood flow. It can be used with a technology called LumiFlow, which portrays the blood vessels more three-dimensionally. To activate MVFlow, press MVFlow on the touch screen. Use tissue suppression and sensitivity to enhance the visualization of vascularization. Turn the PD knob to adjust the overall gain. SDTech for breast and thyroid automatically detects the outline of the lesion, analyzes it according to the user's desired reference, and displays the character of the lesion. In the examination of breasts, Click on the lesion and the system will automatically outline the lesion and categorize the classification. Nerve track detects the nerve and tracks the location in real time. This technology can be useful when performing various nerve procedures such as nerve block under ultrasound guidance. To activate the function, select nerve track on the touch screen. The system automatically detects and traces the nerve and the nerve is marked with a yellow box. Panoramic imaging displays an extended field of view so users can examine wide areas. For Panoramic Plus, press Start and gently scan to get the panoramic image. Panoramic imaging has the ability to display an entire abnormality and show its relation to its adjacent structures. The last feature to introduce is Auto IMT Plus, which allows you to analyze IMT with just one click. So far, we have obtained appropriate images through the tutorial video. 
Now in Sonoview, you can review the images you have acquired. The layout and order of the images can be changed. You can also select and display only key images by pressing the asterisk on the bottom. There are three ways to transfer images, send, print, or export. Click send to transfer images to the connected DICOM. Select print to print the image. Lastly, you can export images to an external device like USB. If you have finished reviewing, you can complete the exam by pressing end exam. At this time, you can have all the images be transferred to DICOM. Samsung V7 provides exceptional image quality and highly reliable advanced technologies with ergonomic design. Be confident about your diagnosis every day for every exam with V7.